Hey guys, Mr. Three here, and today we're gonna be looking at this EcoFlow battery generator. So, this is not sponsored by EcoFlow, even though I probably would like that. I saw they have a nice new generator, the Delta Pro. But anyway, this is the River 600. So, it's their, I guess you could say, lower model, but it's something that's a little more friendly on the wallet. And I found this for about $300 on, well actually I bought one on Walmart and one on Amazon. Also in New Hampshire, so I didn't get taxed. So I saved a little money that way. But I'm gonna show you what this thing can do and what it cannot. So stay tuned, watch this video, like, subscribe, and thanks. All right, so looking at the box, it does come in a nice box, to be honest. So packaging points goes to them for that. And I'll put the full specs on the screen right now as I'm talking. So you can get a little rough dimension of how big this thing is. You know, the 11.3 by 7.3 by 7.7 .7 inches. Like I said, on Amazon, it goes for about $350. If they still have that $50 off coupon, go use it. If not, Maybe just wait until they do that again. It has a battery capacity of 288 watt hours, life cycle of 500 plus cycles, output of 600 watts, surge of 1200, AC input 250 watt max, and solar 200 watt. Got the boring spec stuff out of the way. It does come with some paper, the manual warranty and uh, solar panel installation guide, which I will have to actually go look for a solar panel because I do not have one and I would actually like to charge this thing off a solar panel so I need to go find something that you know a panel that's at least 100 watt that's under well I want something around maybe 50 bucks or even less than that which is tough to find to be honest because everything's so expensive but cables that this thing came with so we got a little DC to DC here is the solar panel adapter which they actually have some type of neat solar panel that tracks the sun, I saw, so, and it's foldable too, so that's another cool thing. Then here is the car cigarette lighter charger, and then finishing it off with the AC. So the thing is, this thing has a quick charge. That was the main seller for me, because I saw, I think it was a Jackery and Blue Yeti, takes forever for their batteries to charge and this thing was charging in about like two and a half hours from like dead state so that's pretty quick as you know with a battery the beginning I guess 80 percent that's when it does the fast charging and then later on just to finish off that 20 percent it will slow down because of physics so they do have three types of products on their line for the River 600. The first one, which I have, like I said, goes for about 350. Then they have a middle level, which is 599, and then 649 is their top one, which I wanted to try out. And the main reason I got this battery was to supply power to my computer and internet during a blackout. So you know you're not just in the dark, and you can still have telephone if you have that connected that way <laughs> or just you know Wi-Fi through the house and things like that but this thing is well capable of powering a TV even a fridge surprisingly it won't be you know that long but just to keep things cool in the freezer this thing can actually handle that which I'll get to that shortly but if you're actually looking to power your house you would have to wait until their newest one the Delta Pro comes out and that one actually looks pretty cool because you could even charge it at a level two power station. So you plug in your EV car, you can also charge that battery quick. That's actually a popular thing right now. That battery, I don't know, I don't, they have it on Kickstart on their website, but there's a lot of YouTubers that actually have the product and showed some videos, which got me fascinated in this brand of EcoFlow. So if you're trying to figure out what you can run off this battery, you gotta do a little physics. So you gotta use the formula P equals IV. So P meaning the power, which is in watts, 
equals the current, which is in amperes, multiplied by the voltage, which is in volts. So that's how you can figure out if you do not know the wattage of a product, which a lot of things do not have it stated how, much, how many watts the product is actually consuming. And I made a little list of things that, you know, I want to actually use this for, like I said, power a TV, camping, lights. This is a big one, a sump pump. So, you know, you don't want a flooded basement during a storm. So sump pump will be for that, even the fridge during those hot days, just, you know, let it roll for a little bit, unplug it. For that movie night, you know, you just take the projector, take the battery, plug it in, watch the whole movie out in a cornfield or something. You know, you can do that type of thing if you do not have an outlet. And then some big things, which I actually tested, so that'll be coming up here in a second, were some vacuums and a hair dry. So I'm gonna roll that clip right now for you. All right, so we're at the product testing phase. As you can see, it says about 97% there. It did say 100 a few minutes ago, but I wanted to test everything out to make sure I know what I'm talking about. So I have three products to test. First, starting off a Shark vacuum, a Hoover vacuum, and a Dyson hair dryer. So placing it down here, the EcoFlow, Gonna go plug in our Shark vacuum. It has a wattage of 500 watts. Plugged in right there, as you can see. <laughs> Not plugging in the wall, and action. So according to the battery, it says it can last up to 33 minutes of runtime, which is plenty and you probably won't be vacuuming if you do have a power outage or your tent. So moving along to the Uber. This one has a wattage of 1300 plugged in and here we roll. And then on this one, it said it can last up to about 27 minutes. So the unit did kick on its fans because it is drawing more power. And last, we're gonna test out this Dyson hair dryer. So it is rated for 1800 watts. And according to EcoFlow, they have this X-Boost technology, which is supposed to take that peak of 1800, even though this thing's not rated at that. But anyway, we'll give it a shot and I am gonna run it on low heat and also low fan. All right, so as you can see, it does work, but I did try it on high and actually the surge on the hair dryer blew instead of you know, the protection on the unit itself. So if you're planning to use this out in nature, you probably want to use it on the low setting and low heat, which is still plenty, to be honest. And this is a little glimpse of what this battery can do and if it's right for you. <laughs> All right, and we're back. So I'm pretty actually shocked on, you know, how this battery did with supplying power to both those vacuums and hair dryer. And also to note there, for the hair dryer, I did have it on the low setting for heat, but I actually did test out later on, you can increase the fan speed, which it did supply and work. So that was another thing. So if you're worried of just having it on low and low heat, this thing will run it. And then the hair dryer did claim that it will run for about 23 minutes as well. So that gives you a little rough idea how long you can dry your hair. But you gotta remember that that's that full battery there that you'll be using. So you may wanna conserve your energy a little if you do take it for a camping trip. So interface with the app is actually fairly simple. I connected it to the Wi-Fi just like that. I also, once you just turn it on, then it tells you that it's online. And right now on my phone, I can even just turn on the flashlight by putting on a button right here. Three, two, one, there it is. And then you can turn it off the same way. 
there's a slight delay, and also you can turn off the sound, because sometimes that beeping sound is a little annoying, which I'm gonna do right now. There we go, and now it's silent. I updated the system right when it came out of the box, and that took roughly five minutes and did not drain the battery at all. The unit does come in with a 30% charge, so you will have to charge it. If you're expecting to use it you know, straight out of the box for a trip, you will need to charge it up. And if you're on the go doing this, you can plug it into the cigarette car lighter, but it will take about three hours, they said, to charge. So that's a little extra information right there. So I'm actually happy to go use this for a few trips and hopefully to learn more about their products and other products because, hey, I'm looking to get some type of electric car or truck in the future. And I'm still debating if I want a bulletproof one or do you want an American made Ford? I want to make a system that you can also use these batteries to charge on the go, if something. And that's mostly it there. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And Mr. Three out.